Today I am talking about my first silver and gold successes of 2022. How you doing everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. If you're new to the channel, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals, so make sure you blast that subscribe button, get the bell notification clicked, that way you get updated with any new content. Please don't forget to blast that like button. Today I am talking about my silver and gold successes for 2022, and it's pretty early. We're only talking, what are we, January 24th at the time of the recording of this video. We are about three weeks into the new year, and I have already or uh, added some gold to the stack, and I'm going to share with you what I have um, already added, and one of which some of you have already seen was this lion, this one ounce check lion that I was really, really uh, disappointed in myself for selling. But to just quickly back up, I'll explain. Uh, I bought this coin for around $2,300. And somebody made me an offer to buy it for $3,000 and I sold it. And I was uh, regretful. Yes, it was a nice profit, but I regretted selling that coin. Mintage, 1,320 worldwide, fourth in the series. Um, when I go to resell this, you know, unless I find a collector or something, I'm not going to get that money back. This is basically something that I really wanted in my stack. Um, and then I also purchased uh, the coin that you see in this box and i'm going to open this right now this looks like possibly a kidney transplant or something um but let me just kind of do this i've never dealt with this company before i will share with all of you the company and um let you know my thoughts on how good or how bad they are i am trying to open up this this package this filament tape here with this knife um i'm probably going to slice my hand I'm trying to do this around a tripod so that I don't um, bang into the tripod. I'm almost, almost there. It's interesting the package that this has been sent in. I guess it's because it's a um, valuable piece. So this thing looks like it's almost like in a giant Tupperware bin. Um, once in a while, you know, like if you order from LPM from Hong Kong, um, you're going to get stuff in a gigantic FedEx box, even if it's just like one coin. This company happens to be based in Belgium. I apologize for all the noise. I just realized as I'm recording, that's going to be annoying. Let me open this up and then I'll talk to you on the other side. Okay, so this is interesting. I have never seen something shipped like this before. Um... Very, very interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm going to open this up now. All right, so I'm going to be very disappointed if this isn't the coin, but this is pretty strange way to pack stuff. Uh, how do I open this? Is this literally... They This is like shut with the heck this is very weird uh it's like um riveted shut how the hell do they want me to get into this thing well i guess i could just break it open what the heck this is very weird i mean i guess do i just pull eh. I'm going to knock into everything. What the heck? This is so strange. You can see like the rivets in there. And a lot of packing. I'm going to bang into everything. I don't... I've never seen something shipped like this before. Alright, so I'm just going to fold the plastic open. And just use my brute strength. Let's see. A lot of packing material... Okay. Nothing is in there, I don't think. This is probably the weirdest packing from a company I've ever received in the 
whole two years, three, well, three years of the YouTube channel, but what are we, two, so like four or five years that I've been stacking, five years, I guess, 2017, five years that I've been stacking, I've never received something quite like this, so now the, the box is empty, let me see in there, my name is in there, okay, the, I mean, packing slip is there, now I gotta figure out where the heck the item is, hopefully it's in this giant plastic garbage bag, this has got to be it, let me get this out of here, now here's the deal, before I get to this, this is the weirdest packing I've ever seen, I mean listen, it definitely came packed with care, I'll give this company that much, very strange, but they definitely took a lot of care with it, um, I'm going to open this up, Here's the one thing about this company that I read online. Never dealt with them before. They're based in Belgium. And uh, I read that they're a totally legitimate company. However, I have seen some reviews that were not so favorable when it comes to customer service, specifically if something happens to the coin, if it's scratched or damaged or whatever, and or if it gets lost in transit. Now, as a seller myself, I know that I assume the responsibility of that particular item that I'm sending out until it's actually marked delivered. So I'm hoping that there's nothing wrong with the coin. I feel it. It's in the capsule. All right. So we're also going to test it, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be real. I got it back. And it right now, this is the gold tiger dragon coin. This is the third in the series. The first in the series was the dragon Phoenix, actually, is this the second in the series? Then I think it's the dragon and the tiger. And then the third in the series is the double dragon. I forgot the order, but 2017, beautiful coin, 5,000 minted. I'm going to tell you about the success of this coin in just a second, but I do want to test and make sure that it is totally real. So as always, I've got the Sigma Metalytics machine and we're going to put this here and this is going to be uh let's see here can we see it no let me move the tripod back all right so we're going to turn that on metals verifier run sample all right gold three nines plus fine that's what this is so let's hit run sample on that one all right let's do it boom real awesome I couldn't be more excited. All right. So here's the deal with this coin. I had purchased this coin a while back, maybe uh, six, eight months ago for around, I think it was $1,900, give or take 50 to 100 bucks. Um, and I ended up getting an offer to buy the coin for $2,500 from somebody who watches my channel. I sold it to them and... Um, Again, I was happy, just like the Lion Coin, happy that I made that profit, but I was also uh, disappointed that I let it go. I saw this coin up for sale on eBay, upwards of $3,800 per coin. I saw this on an American website, I think, uh, American Heritage or something like that. $2,800 listed price. Next cheapest was on LPM. Saw it listed for around $2,500, and then you have to pay the shipping, which is around $37, $38 to the States. And then I saw this on this website based in Belgium for $2,200, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to roll the dice. We're going to go for it, and I've never dealt with the company, but you know what? I'm going to go for it, and it came back uh, that it's real, as you can see, um, got it safe and sound, really, really excited. That's one of the major, um, I would say, successes already for this year, uh, along with that lion. Now, aside from these two gold coins being successes, in my opinion, for this year so far, uh, I would also have to say that the Queen Virtues coin, which is on the way, is another success because uh, I'm just excited to to own it. It's a beautiful design. First in the series for the Queen's Virtues. The Victory Coin is just absolutely beautiful. And so I decided to buy that. But now when it comes to silver, um, my auctions, by and large, 
they're fairly successful as in um, they're profitable and I'm always churning through different coins and bars and everything when it comes to silver. But in terms of stacking successes, I just picked up two 10 ounce bars, something that I typically would never do. I don't really stack silver so much. Um, really, again, like I said, I, I pretty much stack gold. However, I saw this great opportunity on Provident Metals and um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And I bought these two 10 ounce bars, St. Helena. Um, they're actually uh, also Queen's Virtues, first in the series, but they happen to be coins. So they're 10 ounce coins that are in the shape of bars. I figured, you know what, that's pretty unique. I'm going to buy that. I figured it's just a, a cool piece or pieces to have. Um, and I'm thinking, you know what, maybe this year I've done a lot of videos talking about constitutional silver and junk silver and that I don't really stack it. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite there yet. I'm not saying I'm going to start stacking this stuff, but some people have made some very good points in some of my uh, comments about, you know, listen, you might not like it, but it's good to have just as like insurance. And you know what? I, I, I do see some merit in that when it comes to, you know, potential crises, 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 situations that might arise in our country. You know, it can't hurt to have some constitutional silver. Um, it's not like it's going to go bad. It has its value. Um, and, you know, so I might I might start stacking some of it. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, the two 10-ounce bars, that's, that's a good first step. Um, but so far this year, um, I also picked up five 10-ounce gold tigers, gold lunar tigers. I showed that in some recent videos. Um, so for this year, January alone of 2022, I'm up three and a half ounces in my gold stack and I've already added, oh, I want to say at least 50 ounces of silver to the stack. Um, but I'm curious as to what are some of your successes so far for this year? I know it's early, it's only three weeks in, but still, you know, um, you know, let's keep each other motivated. Share some of your successes down below. What are you really happy that you picked up? Let us all know in the comments down below. And do you think this coin was a good buy? 5,000 mintage, already selling for around $2,800 to $3,800 on various websites and auctions. So um, 5,000 mintage, I mean, and just symmetrically beautiful. Just a gorgeous design. Uh, let me know if you think that this was a complete waste of money or do you think for $2,200 that that was a slam dunk? And I would like to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't already become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, this is Empire Precious Metals. Until next time, long live the empire.